All right, so let's take a look at this first FRQ from the 2025 exam. So we have this invasive species of plant appears on a fruit grove and begins to spread. The C of T is defined by this function here, and it can be shown, uh, which is not the number of acres in the fruit grove affected by the species T weeks after the species appears. It can be shown that the C prime is here. So they did the derivative for you. Find the average number of acres affected by these species. So how do we do average value is one over B minus A the integral from A to B of whatever you are finding the average value of. And we are trying the average value number of acres. What's the number of acres? C of T. So that's going to be 1 over the interval width is 4 minus 0, integral from 0 to 4 of C of T dt. Okay, and that's all you have to write. And then we'll go to Desmos, and then we'll just say, I'm going to, for this problem, I'm just going to write it out. So 7.6 arctan of 0.2 T. And, you know, they did remind you that it should be in radian mode. And you can always just check on here that we are indeed in radians. So that is C of T. And I want to do the integral from 0 to 4 of C of T dt. And so that's going to give me, let's just leave this up here. That's going to be 1.113, three decimal places, and then number of acres. And then we just say acres. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm supposed to divide by 4. I don't know why I didn't do the 1 divided by 4 over four so two point sorry this is the nice thing about desmos i can look at here and look here just make sure i typed everything incorrectly 2.778 acres so that is part a all right b find the time when the instantaneous rate of change equals the average rate of change over the interval so what's average rate of change so that's where c prime of t that's the instantaneous rate of change is going to be equal to the average rate of change like this and so, um, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can just compute, you can, you can do C prime of T. Uh, let's see, can you do Y equals C prime of T? So we're going to plot that. And then we're also going to compute Y equals, so let's not hide C of T. Let's just do this fraction, C of 4 minus C of 0 over 4 minus 0. And then we just want to see where they intersect. They intersect on the left side, but we really only care about the time T greater than 0 times at Starts at zero, so you only want the positive one here. So that's going to be, and that occurs at t is equal to 2.154. And don't forget the units, the time. Let's see, time is zero. Do they give you units for time? Um, t weeks. Weeks. Okay, you probably don't have to put the units. If they don't say units in there, um, that's that's okay. You, It's probably okay to leave out the units. But I, I always encourage students to leave the units in there. Assume the invasive species continue to spread according to the given model for all times t greater than zero. Write a limit expression that describes the end behavior of the rate of change. End behavior of the rate of change. So that's the limit as t goes to infinity of not, not the limit of c of t, the limit of c prime of t. The rate of change is c prime. End behavior of c prime of t, which would be the limit as t goes to infinity of 38 over 25 plus t squared. And that's going to go to 0 because it's going to be 38 divided by a huge number because t squared is going to be a giant number. 38 divided by a giant number is going to be 0. So evaluate the limit of expression. OK, cool. Part D. At time t equals 4 weeks after the invasive species appear in the fruit grove, measures are taken to counter the spread of the species. The function a defined by this models the number of acres affected by the species over the interval. At what time does A obtain its maximum value? So what is this? This is an absolute max, right? So the absolute max is a candidate's test. So we want to first find where the derivative is 0 or undefined. So let's look at A prime of t. You could put this into the function and just kind of have the calculator do it. And so let me show you how you can do that. Or you could take the derivative. I'll show you both ways. So we'll say A of t is equal to c of t minus the integral from 4 to t of 0 0.1 ln of x dx. So that gives you that function. And then you just want to plot y equals a prime of t, right? So we can plot, and then we'll just, we just only want to see what a prime is, and we just want to see when that's 0. If you click there, OK, and so that would occur at t is equal to 11.442. That's the only time that that occurs. If you did the derivative by hand, you could also say a prime of t is equal to c prime of t. And you may, you may, they may have a point to show that. So I would recommend you, you do this. And what, what do you do when you take the derivative and the parameters in the expression? That's the second part of our fundamental theorem of calculus. You're just going to plug in 
ln of t like this. And so you can also plot that just to confirm it's the same thing. So if I do y equals c prime of t minus 0 0.1 ln of t, you'll see you get the same thing because they're just sitting on top of each other, right? Like I hide this one or hide this one, see they're just sitting on top. So I did that correctly. So that's the T. And then what do we also do on the candidates test is now we want to evaluate the function at the endpoints of the interval. And the endpoints of the interval are four and 36 and also at our critical point, right? So then what's nice is I have an expression here. I can just do A of four. That's going to be 5.128 then do a of 36. That's going to be 1.743. And then finally do a of 111.44. What did we say that number was? I didn't write down all the decimal. 4417. And so that's going to give you 7.317. And so this is the max. And so they're asking at what time does it attain its maximum value? And so that occurs at t is equal to 11.441 weeks, like that. And that is in the interval, and that's how you do the first FRQ.